all the plants and loving it. I am making sure they're watered every day, um, so that is keeping them alive. I think. So, so. Uh, but I've just been tying some of my peas on. Um, put quite a few things out to harden off because I'm going to put them in beds today if I've got the energy to do it. Uh, so yeah, everything's looking brilliant. Gorgeous day. This is what gardening's for, just pottering about, looking at your plants. And um, that's what makes me happy. So. Uh, I'll take you for a little tour around and you can see how everything's doing.
so there we go I've finished all that now I've put all the celery the red cabbage the chard the kale and the celery all in there and they've all got the little scouring pad covers on stood right in the shadows so there we go I'm gonna I've watered them it doesn't look like they've watered them but I have so I'm gonna cover those up with that dome now and hope they're all tucked in there okay some of the celery I would have liked to be a bit bigger but I'm running out of room in the polytunnel now the tomatoes are going to come from home and go in there soon so I need the room um, and I think it's okay weather for them now also these bird feeders here I was sat there doing it putting all those little scouring pads on and there was a little robin there feeding and I was gutted that the camera wouldn't reach it and wasn't filming it because it was there for a good two minutes just feeding away. Back. I'm going to try and catch him on film but right now I'm going to sit down, have a well earned rest and eat some dinner so I'll catch him in a bit. Hello everyone, so I've just got here to the plot and I'm just looking over my plants and it looks like they're all alive. Um, so yeah, I brought the sweet corn here the other day, it is the 4th of June today. Um, I've not been, I didn't come yesterday but I did come the day before. Um, what did I do? That was when I was planting out that other bed with the celery and everything in. I've not checked that yet so I'll check that in a minute. Um, yeah, I just wanted to come in here because I knew how hot it had been and I wanted to check on these because I brought um, the sweet corn, I brought some tomatoes uh, from home. So I was just checking that they'd survive because you know what happened last time. I killed them all, but it was a lot colder then. So yeah, this is my honeycomb tomato, the biggest one, and it is still alive. So yeah, I'm so chuffed with that. So I think what I'm going to do today is open my last bag of compost, fill the bed up for the sweet corn um, and get this sweet corn in. Um, I think I'm going to sow some more sweet corn to go in there as well, or... I might put something else in the end of the bed, I'm not sure yet, because I don't know how many sweet corn I want to be doing all at once, whether I should success, successionally do them, I'd say that word, um, so, you know, sow some more in here and then get them out in a couple of weeks, um, I'm not sure whether to do that or not, so we'll see. Um, so yeah, just give these a drink and they're quite doing alright, the beans are doing fine, they're getting big now and uh, the cucumbers are okay so yeah I need more compost and then I can get the tomatoes and the cucumbers into the bigger pots um, and then settle them in here somewhere when they're ready so yeah I'm gonna check on everything else and I'll let you see I said last time that I'd give you an update and I didn't because I thought it was too close from the last one so I'll do an update today I'll take you around the plot and show you everything when I've checked that nothing's dead <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit okay so this is the bed that i put those little plants in last time and as you can see nothing's eating them i thought something might try um, because they were so small so that's why i put those scouring pads over but they seem to be working um let's just turn you around here's my brassicas i've still not took that one out in the middle yet that cauliflower that is coming out because that's just rubbish um I had a very nice comment from Ronald Shaw who grows in a car park in pots and he does amazingly well with his plants and he gave me some advice and he said when it grows that one um, it'll get hot top heavy so you might need to stake it but I said I think it's done for I think it's had enough so I'm gonna take that out but yeah I'll put um, the link to his channel in my description box actually because his plants are doing amazing it just shows what comes with experience so yeah he's definitely one to watch so as you can see the potatoes are doing amazing I think they've actually got little flower buds on some of them now um, the strawberries they're the biggest ones what's over here the flowers I left those sunflowers out and I didn't mean to but they're absolutely fine so that's okay 
Uh, yeah, the flowers just need a water, just because flowers aren't doing brilliantly, but she's not looking after them. Peas. Peas are doing really good again. I've tried tying some of them on to those teepees though because they weren't really climbing up where I wanted them to go so I hope that's working. It seems to be doing. Salad bed doing amazing. Look how big that stuff is now. Those lettuces are huge. Got all my spinach now that actually looks like spinach. And little lettuces and my beetroots are doing okay as well. The carrots, the ones that are there are okay. But I keep sowing more where the gaps are but they're just not coming through so I don't know what's going on with that uh, but the parsnips are doing fantastic they're in there with those onions spring onions and silver skin onions in there that are doing really well my onions are at the back there they're doing really well my leeks aren't doing too well maybe that's because I shouldn't have planted them with the onions so I think I'm going to take some of those out turnips are doing really well and I have got a lot more little carrot seedlings I don't know if you can see but they're all popping up there now herbs I have to constantly weed these because there's weeds always coming up so the coriander's doing the best then the parsley the basil's doing okay um, but the rosemary I'm not sure which are rosemary and which are weeds and on the left I've got tarragon, I think. And again, I can't tell what seedlings and what's weeds, so I'm letting it grow a bit bigger before I start pulling stuff out. Uh, this is Jessica's flower bed. The corn flowers are getting massive. Some flowers are growing. By the way, comfrey's in there. That's growing as well, that's doing very well. The other comfrey hasn't done anything yet that's in that bucket. So I finally managed to catch the robin on film, so I've just got a little bit here showing you him flying about and, um, and eating off those bird feeders. I don't know if it's a fledgling one because he's got a lot of fluffy feathers underneath and I think that's a sign of a young bird, but I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, yeah, I got that and I also got um, a bee in the polytunnel, which I did help it get out of the polytunnel before I shut it um, and then yeah the last thing I'm doing is planting out my sweet corn so I've only got six um, there but I am sowing some more to go in as well So that's it for this vlog. So thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for watching the videos. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit on that bell button so you don't miss any uploads. And I will see you next time. Bye.